The Trump administration has ordered federal law enforcement officials to publicly defend Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old charged with fatally shooting two protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin, during Black Lives Matter protests in August. That's according to internal Department of Homeland Security talking points obtained by NBC News. The documents instruct federal agents to say Rittenhouse took a gun to Kenosha to, quote, help defend small business owners. Last week, Rittenhouse's mother, who drove her son across state lines with an AR-15 assault rifle to the Kenosha protests, received a standing ovation at a Republican Party event in Wisconsin. If convicted of first-degree murder charges, Rittenhouse faces up to life in prison. Vice News reports police in Paraland, Texas, requested the presence of Border Patrol snipers at George Floyd's burial June 9th and gave them permission to use deadly force as members of the militarized tactical unit known as BORTAC surveilled funeral attendees. Records obtained by Vice also reveal an FBI surveillance aircraft was flown over the burial to monitor for so-called violent, quote, agitators. That day, at least six sniper teams were in place on rooftops and authorized to open fire.